Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the spatial info tool from Ultrix's spatial tool category. We use the spatial tool to extract tabular information about a spatial object, things like the area, spatial object, the bounding rectangle, identifying the number of parts or points, calling out the centroid, creating latitude and longitude coordinates of several of these attributes. All can be done with the spatial info tool. So if you'd like to follow along, we can follow the open example link and take a look here at example number one. As we take a look at the configuration panel for the spatial info tool, first we, in the drop down, need to identify which spatial field we want to analyze and there are a wide variety of items we can output. So the first run here, we'll just take a look at creating a field for the area in square miles for each of the 572 spatial objects in our data set. So here we're looking at zip codes in Massachusetts. So if we want to take a look at Buzzards Bay, zoom in on the map. Altrix is calling out this polygon and letting us know the square mileage here is 31.66. Looks like a nice place. So the spatial info tool we can use to extract really basic attributes of our spatial objects, uh, but it can do much, much more. So in example number two, we're going to use the same spatial info tool to find the centroid of each polygon zip code. There are a couple of options here relating to the centroid of each spatial object. First, we'll take a look at using Altrix to create the centroid as a spatial, spatial object. So here we'll have a second spatial field called centroid. And we'll actually create a point on the map at the centroid of each of our polygons. Now we don't always necessarily need this as a spatial object itself. There are use cases for just calling out the X and Y coordinates or the longitude and latitude of each of these centroid points. So if we wanted to create that as an additional field off to the right, we can check both boxes relating to the centroid. And you'll see our output data. If we take a look in the browse tool, we can see it all on the map but we'll have our secondary spatial object field in addition to those X and Y centroids. First, we'll take a look at using the spatial info tool to create a bounding rectangle as a polygon, which I think is one of the more interesting uses of the spatial info tool. So as we zoom in on our Buzzards Bay line item here, we can see that Altrix has created this green bounding rectangle that surrounds this uh, interesting shape that we have to the Buzzards Bay zip code. Here's Sagamore Beach. So for all 572 of our zip codes. Hang on, there's a sandwich, Massachusetts. That sounds delicious. I'll have to visit one day. But using the spatial info tool to create that bounding rectangle around each of our polygons. The last example has us using Altrix to find the endpoints of a line. So a different data set this time. Here we're looking at line spatial objects in some major cities around Wyoming. So here we'll take a look at Pine Street, Second Street, and maybe Unnamed Street. Uh, so here as we select different records in the results window, the spatial objects will be highlighted. So here's our Unnamed Street. And it's, it's close to Pine Street. Anyhow, we're going to use the spatial info tool to create endpoints. So we'll have a start and an end to each of these lines.
and we can output these positions as spatial objects themselves. So that's what we have now. And we see the new little diamond indicators. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.